March. Okay, so just in time for Portland Dining Month, a go-to source for fresh seafood and seasonal fish now has a new standalone restaurant. Yeah, Flying Fish Company at 30th and Burnside, now serving up lunch and dinner in its expanded space. And chef and owner Leif Gildersleeve is here with a look at what they are dishing out. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, thanks yeah, for coming in. This all looks great. Yes. So yeah. you guys are expanding, right? People are going to recognize the name Flying Fish Company, but uh, the restaurant, that, that is a whole new adventure for you. It is, you know, try to come into a new um, new offering here in Portland, have a nice casual uh, stand-up, stand-alone fish restaurant with the fish market attached to it. So um, something that there's not really any other anybody else doing in this town. Yeah, yeah. and so you've brought in, I guess, some of the, the favorites or some yeah, of your favorites? Yeah, kind of our signatures. Uh, mm -hmm. Oysters on the Half Shell. We've been doing the little flying fish oyster bar for the last four years when we were over on Sandy, but now that we've got our own brick and mortar, we decided to add some new fun components to it. We're doing fish and chips. Uh, we have a, a beautiful signature uh, fish sandwich here made mm -hmm. with uh, local Washington steelhead. Oh my gosh. And then we've got our um, famous, let's oh, say, my favorite. Uh, poke. Yes, which is kind delicious. of a popular one these days. Yeah, yeah. I was okay, going to say, do so we need good. to get in and try some of this? We do. Okay. It's one yes. of my favorites. So, mm -hmm. uh, and then also, I know you're you're shucking oysters over here. Yes. Um, so we were talking about this. The, the correct way to shuck an oyster. It is, is an art. Don't hold it in your hand. Don't I, hold wait, it that's in number your one. So I did okay. a contest last year and I lost and yeah. I cut my hand. <laughs> like I did it terribly wrong. So I don't know if we can get a close up oh, on your yeah, hand absolutely. Um, and show how you do it. Yeah, so what we want to do, we want to do the cup side down, some more of the spoon side down and then go in through the little small point at the end. Um, okay. It's called the hinge. Mm -hmm. So always put it in a towel, don't hold it in your hand. Um, through the hinge there, you put a little pressure going down, mm. get the knife, uh, knife tip in there, turn it like a key. And then with that key, you can just sever that top shell right off there. Mm -hmm. Now you turn it towards you, make sure there's no shell in the front, and then there's a little muscle right there that connects to the bottom shell. You just dis disconnect that, and it's just ready to slurp. To there slurp, you go. wow. And you wanna kinda keep that brine in there too, yeah. That's, that's really right, good. yep. You've gotta be really careful when you're shucking an oyster to make sure that you get the um, get the brine in there. So yeah, again, how many in. can you shuck in, in like Oh, you know, minutes. I'm not a real <laughs> fast shucker. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm more... Just steady, <laughs> steady. Yes. That wins the race. Yes. <laughs> uh, would you like to try an oyster? Yeah. Oh There's some yeah. meat tarts oysters here. I was going to say, what's your hama hama oysters over here? What's your preferred uh, method of oyster garnish? I see a little. Uh, so just a little, a little bit of lemon, a little okay. bit of mignonette, which is shrimp and vinegar, shallot, black pepper, okay. and then um, that's really it. You, yeah. Some people like their cocktail sauce, horseradish on the oyster. I mm -hmm. like it real I simple. Just a little lemon, yeah. They call it the miroir, just like the terroir of wine. You get Cheers. different flavors Cheers. from each yeah. day. Down the Mm-hmm. Mm. How are you doing over there? <laughs> well, that was really good. A little messy, it? yeah, but you it was so good. Yeah. Oh man, those are oh my those gosh, are delicious. Yeah. is that the the vinegar that makes it like yeah. with the with the pop of? Flavor. Just a little bit. Mm, yep. Yeah. Yep. You got the mm -hmm. salinity from the oyster. You've got a little bit of acid from the vinegar, yeah. a little bit of sweet from the shallot, and mm -hmm. a little bit of spice from the pepper. So it's yeah. a nice. Yeah. Um, and a little bit going down my chin. Yeah. <laughs> <It's all good. laughs> right now. Live yeah. TV. Anything can happen. Yeah. No, that was amazing. And you were telling us too that you really focus on like the local. And you said so much fish is you know exported. You're trying to use the fish from here. Absolutely. Unfortunately, in this country, in the past, we haven't paid a lot of attention where our food and fish, for that matter, is coming from. So yeah. we've come to a point where we import the majority of the seafood we consume in America mm -hmm. is imported from overseas and now we have the opportunity to actually realize that we have great resources right off the coast here so let's pay attention to where your food is coming from pay attention to the country of origin where you're buying your fish from and eat this local resource that we've got right here off of our coast and when it's this delicious why wouldn't you yeah, eat local definitely easy choice thank oh, you man. Please, thank it. you so much for coming yeah. in. Yeah. I appreciate yeah. it thank mm -hmm. you for being willing to try all these yummies oh, absolutely of course. so if you want to check out Flying Fish Market and the restaurant. It is open starting every day at 10 a.m. every day but Tuesdays. So we appreciate you coming in on your day off. Thank yeah. you. Lunch service starts at 11. They're doing lunch and dinner now in the new restaurant. For more on their Portland Dining Month offers and their full menu, just check out this story on coin.com. Yep. Kelly was over here earlier kind of checking out uh, what, what, what we have because <laughs> oh, yeah. it is pretty good. You're like, save some for me. Yes. We'll, we'll save you some